Hey everybody, this is Griffin McElroy for Polygon.com with a quick guide on how to take down German, the first hunter. Uh, spoilers, obviously, this is uh, basically the very end of the game. Uh, you want to make sure that all of your affairs are in order before you go into this fight. Uh, make sure you have purchased and upgraded any weapons that you want to do uh, and that you have, if you want to get the real true ending, which I won't spoil, uh, there are three items that you need to find and consume. Uh, to get the real true ending, you want to make sure to consume those before you go into this fight. Uh, in the cutscene where German asks you if you want to submit your life, refuse, and you will get into this fight. Uh, German, the first hunter, is really, really tough. He moves very quickly. He's a hunter type enemy, meaning he's going to use sort of the same weapons and strategies that you do. Uh, he has this extended scythe that he will use uh, against you uh, that can do a ton of damage. Uh, very quickly. However, you can interrupt him with your gun and uh, get off a visceral attack. Uh, one thing I'll note, I haven't been leveling up my blood tinge or my uh, my shotgun really at all. My blunderbuss, I should say. Uh, so I wasn't able to get a lot of visceral attacks off of him, but he is vulnerable to those. So uh, if you've been going for a firearm heavy build, you may have much better luck uh, than I did. And it is, I would say, by far the easiest way to uh, take German down. Uh, just watch for his uh, slower uh, scythe attack. He has one where he pulls you in and gets a, a second attack on you. I was never able to interrupt that. Uh, and he has one where he slashes down and then straight up a knockback attack. I was never inter able to interrupt that either. He does have a slower sort of sweeping strike though. And that one is, as far as I can tell, interruptible. Uh, at certain stages in the fight, he will switch out for a, a sword and a very powerful shotgun. Uh, so very much like the Father Gascon fight, you want to make sure you're always able to counter that uh, shotgun strike. Uh, get close to him, uh, close the gap, and uh, hit him with whatever weapons you have. Uh, again, the, the most reliable way of dealing damage to him is with visceral attacks. I had some pretty bad timing on my uh, stagger attacks on him, and he actually managed to get uh, an, an attack off on me as well, and uh, that meant that I was knocked down and not able to get off the visceral attack, so uh, you want to make sure to practice your timing on those, uh, because I would say it's uh, a pretty easy way to take him down. Uh, if you have a very heavy weapon, like the Hunter's Axe, uh, you can also try and charge that up, uh, and if you time it right, you can knock him way back and knock him way down to the ground, uh, and then close in for a combo after that. Uh, it's a pretty reliable way of doing damage, uh, but I, uh, I I didn't have a very powerful heavy weapon like the Hunter's Axe that I had leveled up, so uh, I went with this strategy instead. That was me missing the Visceral Attack because I took an attack right before. Uh, he, he moves really, really fast, so this is going to be a very dodge-heavy fight. When he is glowing like this, uh, at this stage in the fight, uh, you want to be careful because he's much harder to stagger uh, and much harder to knock down. He won't be staggered by your regular attacks, meaning if you're doing a combo, uh, you, you need to just get off a couple hits and then start dodging again because he will make you pay for it. Uh, a couple nasty things he does in this stage, he stands still for a while. You may think that's a really great opportunity to close in and get a bunch of damage up on him. Don't do that. Resist that urge as much as you can. Uh, because he's about to set off an AoE that will one-shot you. Uh, I was level 83 in this boss fight with a ton of points in vitality, and he can pretty much one-shot me with that AoE, so uh, definitely want to be careful of that. Don't get greedy when you see him stand still. Uh, just back up and uh, avoid the avoid the AoE. One other thing he does is he jumps in the air. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out, uh, but when he jumps in the air, he's about to use a shockwave attack where he slashes and the ground in front of him blows up. Uh, what you want to do in that stage of the fight is dodge forward, dodge towards him. Uh, because if you can get underneath him, the shockwave just won't hit you. And then when he lands, you'll be right next to him and you can uh, follow up with a, a combo of attacks. Uh, make sure you come into this fight with full blood vials. I ran out of blood vials during this fight. I, I got very lucky uh, in, in how quickly I was able to take him down. Uh, he can visceral attack you as well, uh, and that does a ton of damage, so you definitely want to be very careful about that. Here's him. Oh, he almost had me. Uh, you definitely want to be careful of that. If you have a rune that boosts the number of blood vials, the, the communion rune, a powerful one of those, you want to make sure to uh, maybe equip that before you go in just so you can have a little bit of extra time to uh, take him out. Um, yeah, uh, German is a really hard fight, which is appropriate because he's one of the very last bosses in the game. But if you can master uh, staggering him and getting off the visceral attacks, it's going to make this fight a whole lot easier. 
if you if you like me uh, had some trouble doing the visceral attacks uh, just make sure you master sort of dodging around him and uh, hitting him with combos uh, as much as you can obviously this is the end of the game so you want to have a, a plus 10 weapon if you can to do as much damage as possible uh, but yeah that's German the first hunter uh, after beating him, it moves on immediately if you have uh, consumed the three items that you need to the final, final boss of the game. If not, the game will end for you right here, uh, but I'm going to cut it before it gets to that point. Thank you all for watching. One more boss guide video to go, and uh, I hope this was helpful. Good luck.